lines. A lot of people think it's just a case of putting a layer of self tan on and the white line will fade away. Not necessarily. Where the skin is already darker, the tan will immediately go darker. Where it's lighter, it will already look lighter. So what you've got to do when we treat suntan lines, you just have to tan the white line only. So what I'm using here, I'm using the Centropay Original Self Tan Lotion. If I just show you the consistency, it looks like a chocolate paste. Now what that is, that's vegetable dye. And it kind of works like a henna dye. So what we're going to use this for, we're going to use it like a paint and it's going to fill in the white layer of skin. You may have to get a friend to help you with this, okay, particularly if it's on your back. I'm using a foundation brush and then all we're going to do, we're going to paint in or fill in the white areas. This is fantastic if you've ever got white patches of pigmentation like vitiligo, stretch marks, it will fill this in. Now the lotion is better for this job than any of the other tans that we do. Okay, so what Ollie's going to do with this product, she's going to sleep with it on. The lotion is fantastic, but as you can see, it's not really ready to wear. You're kind of going to look a bit dirty with it on. So it's a product you do before you go to bed at night. That's what I've got on. And then I wash it off in the morning. Once this has been washed off, if we can see it's not perfectly even, you could either go over the top with a layer of self tan, or if this still looks very, very white, we would refill it again. Particularly you do that with vitiligo or a very, very old scar where it's so white you may have to keep filling it in a few times. So it's not ready to wear but it really does fill in all white patches perfectly.